You know, I sure wish I knew what this thing was. It drives the mice crazy. Well, it's not a toy. Well, excuse me for living, mister. You're the one that bought it from that Sears catalog. Here you go. Read that. What's this? Oh, some instructions. Yeah, that's right. Some instructions. What that's called is a smell o meter smell meter That's just great. I always wanted one of these things right here. It can tell me if I need to burn incense in the bathroom or if I can wear my socks for another day. Chippy, it's not a toy. Well, it may not be a toy, but I don't see your name on it any place. Right there. Where? Right there. Well, fine then. See if I care. Let's go play somewhere else. Some place where I'm appreciated. I'm gonna go to Chuck E. Cheese where I can be a kid and have some fun. And you're not invited unless you say you're sorry. I'm sorry. You're looking pretty bad, Bob. And you smell kind of rank, too. You know, you should at least wash your hands before you drink, you know? Those are kind of nasty. I hear there's some top agents from the FBO coming over here to try to run you out there, Bob. People just don't like the way you smell. Why don't you just try using soap? How about a bar of Irish Spring? That's pretty good soap. No, it smells good and all. It just makes me dry. Well, I tell you what, you go on upstairs and you go hide, okay? Mm-hmm. Whoa! Boy, it smells like crap. Give him a break, deputy. Break? We need to break open a can of Glade air freshener. Golly! Just think how scared Bob is right now. You know, the FBO sending a couple of guys down here just to look for him. He must feel terrible. Well, whatever. What's this right here? If I could get this lid open, these are my metabolite pills. I guess you had one too many coconut cream pies on the island. <laughs> Hey, turn off the Stooges. Listen to this. It says here the FBO is sending a couple of their top agents. Slick and Chippy. Now, I never heard of them before, have you? So? Well, this is serious. We gotta warn Bob. <laughs> Bob? Skipper? I've come to warn you, son. Stop. I mean it. I'm sorry, Skipper. I had a bowl of pinto beans earlier. And you know what they do to me. Yeah, I do. Reminds me a little bit of Ginger Grant. When old Ginger Grant would eat too many coconuts on the island, she'd get the farts too. Smelled just terrible. I bet mine are worse. We're not comparing farts. The FBO's coming. I love that song. Are y'all listening to Rage? Godzilla soundtrack. Enough of the chit chat. We're here for Stinky Boy. Well, Stinky Boy don't live here. Are you trying to tell me that, that smell I'm... Stinky boy, it smells like sulfur. We've been shooting firecrackers. Chippy, wait. Smell that? It's stronger back here than it was up front. We gotta get out of here. I'm gonna throw up. Slick, look. Hit the dick! Oh! Looks like a note. I'm gonna get it. I can't, I can't fit. I can't, I can't fit in here.
Beans, beans, the magical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. Meet me tonight at the junkyard. Signed, Sticky Boy. That was beautiful. If you think it's so beautiful, why don't you marry it? Tripping, yo. He's such a fool. True that. What about the FBO? That's what I was talking about, yo. If Bubba finds out that Mr. Hooper's the one that ratted him out to the FBO, there's no telling what he'll do. Well, it's too late to trip, girlfriend. Well, I didn't give Bobby the word. I told him Mr. Hooper ratted him out. What you gonna do that for? Wise up. Bobby had to know. I think he's on his way to Hooper's now. Dang it. I just know something bad's gonna happen. Hello! Which one of you lovely ladies wants to play some naked twister? You? 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 Huh? What? You want to? You want to? You in? You out? You out? Uh? You be leaving me out of this dick. That's nasty. Well, fine. Forget you. But this time I was going to add some whipped cream to the game. I will. Let's go, Daddy-o. <laughs> what? Gonna eat that last donut? I think it's a jelly. I think that one's Bavarian cream. I like bear claws. Well, nothing beats an eclair. Mm hmm. Maybe. You know, I've heard a lot of sirens in my day, and I must say, yours is the very best. Well, a few things, that one's pretty cool. Get a load of this one. Have you got any that sound like animals? How about elephants? What's this? A note. That must be from Stinky Boy. Here I sit, broken hearted. Huh? Huh. 
Well, that's not even original. <laughs> what are you gonna do with that big thing? Look, there he is. Your eyes are getting very heavy, Bob. And you're feeling very tired. Hey, put that thing away. Slick, leave me alone. One time when I hypnotized the professor, well, he thought he was a dog. I almost took my leg clean off. I ain't gonna let it happen again. Down, boy. Here, let's roll him over. Mm -hmm. Was that you? Oh, I gotta get out of here. Oh, God. Let's pick him up. That's good. Says you smell like roses. Uh, what happened? We gave you a bath. We took you to the car wash. I took care of your privates. Gave them special attention. Well, how can I ever repay you? Don't worry, you already have. How's he doing? I'm fine, sir. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. We'll see y'all later. Bye-bye. Hey, Mr. Slick, can I interest you in a boat ride? Listen, Skipper, I already told you once, taking a three-hour tour with you on the SS Minnow doesn't interest me in the least. Well, you're still my little buddy. <laughs> hey, girl, you feel like kissing a boy that smells like he just fell out of a rose bush? Mm-hmm. I love you, girl. Doing it, putting this stuff on the floor. 